Did you know that the city of Courtney has an official flower, the Courtney Lady? It's a hybrid rhododendron and was developed by Harry Wright. Harry Wright moved to the Comox Valley in the late 1960s and has left a lasting legacy. Unfortunately, he has passed away, but he still has many people who remember him. He was very instrumental in getting the uh, Comox Valley Horticultural Society established. I was the first president. And he, they, it was a nursery trades association, and they thought a garden club would be a good idea. So that group got us involved and, and kind of got an executive together, and we went from there. So although you can't see the blooms right now, in the spring, this entire garden will be awash with color. We have many varieties that Harry has developed on his own. The Courtney Lady, the Courtney King, the Courtney Duke, the Courtney Queen, and the Iona Sea. I think this one is going in the park. Yeah, I think any of the ones with the red um, with tags the red are tag. going to be. Yeah, this, this is Courtney Queen? He has, uh, Harry has donated rhodos, uh, which he propagated. There's uh, Courtney King and Courtney Queen and the Duke and the lady and uh, Gwendolyn Wright after me, which was for our 53rd anniversary. Um, he's donated uh, one to Iona Campanello and also Beaufort Gem, and he has many rhodos in uh, Millennium Park. He um, had a love of rhodos and, and all plants, and he developed and hybridized his own. There's probably a good, you know, a dozen that he's hybridized, and uh, there were some in the works that, you know, he hadn't had a chance to complete, which the Roto Club has um, decided that they will take on that project and finish hybridizing what he started. And it's my understanding that um, one of the ones that he started to hybridize will be will be finished and they'll be naming it after my dad which you know is a real honor and I'm sure he'd be very humbled to to have you know have that named after him and I, I think that's how we got to know the community is by you know originally from the landscape business and being out there and yeah just helping people with their yards and then he uh, took an interest with the city worked with the city for uh, 10 years as well as parks foreman and did a lot of the plantings in the beds as you drive around the Comox Valley. He'll take a cutting down to about here, snip off these leaves so that they're only half the size, put uh, rooting hormone on the stem and stick them in a light soil mixture. Right, right down here where the cement pad is. To commemorate his passing, the city will be erecting a bench in the rhododendron garden. And there will be a plaque saying one of Harry's favorite sayings, come sit with me and reminisce. Harry Wright is no longer with us, but he has left a lasting tribute with the rhododendron garden and with the garden clubs. I'm Judy Mirakami for The Daily.